Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can change device number on your SD to IC device through software by using Commodore Basic commands. So why would you do that? Well, if you want to connect additional drive to your C64 so that you can make copies between floppy disks and SD card here, well, these devices need to have different device number. So by default all these devices are configured to have device number 8 and we need to change one of them to have a different number doesn't really matter which one. So by using software to change device number on your SD to IC device, it's much easier than poking around with this 1541 drive and try to configure these dip switches at the back, especially if you have something stuck on top of it. And uh, especially if you have uh, older versions, which do not have those dip switches at all. So I wrote a small basic program to configure device number on SD to IC device and we will go through each line step by step. Now, you don't really need this basic program, but this is just easier because you don't need to remember custom commands and you don't need to type it in every time you need to make some changes. It's really convenient to have it stored on the SD uh, card and it's there ready to be deployed whenever you need it. So, let's jump into the code. Okay, this is our basic code. Uh, just let me split this into a few sections. It will be much easier for you to follow. So the first section is asking us to enter current and the new SD to IC device number. And command on line 10 is doing all the work. So we are opening channel with the current device number. We are sending command with the new device number and we are closing the channel. So this is all that it takes to change device number on SD to IC. And of course, this change is just temporarily. Uh, so to make it permanent, uh, we have the next section. And if you uh, say yes to this, this uh, command on line 50 gets executed. And our change is now stored into flash memory of SD to IC device. Now you can <clears throat> power down your Commodore 64. And once you power it back on, this new device number will be will be active. Uh, this third section is just reset uh, for the device because in case that you store this little basic program in some folder or subfolders, um, this is just a quick way that so you can reset everything and go back to the root folder and then you can load your file browser once more and this time from the new address number. So this is it and uh, let me hook this up and we can try this and test it on the real Commodore 64. So before I connect everything, just a small information. Usually this kind of SD to IC um, devices, this bare bone PCB, they usually have the female connector, DIN connector soldered right here. In that case, you can use your standard serial cable and connect it uh, connect your SD to IC directly to your uh, floppy drive. Unfortunately, I didn't have that, so I needed to solder my own cables and my own DIN connector. That's all. Now, let's connect everything. Uh, so I will flip this over. We need power. We need serial connection, we need video cable, yes, okay, real nice, uh, power, power, we need power for our C64, okay, this is ready, everything is ready, so for now I will leave, I will put the floppy into the floppy drive and for now I will leave this uh, power off everything is connected but this will be powered off until we uh, set different device number for our SD to IC device so let's do that so here we are let's load file browser from um, device number 8 and that is our SD to IC device and let's run it. Here we go. 
and now where did I store uh, my basic program in tools folder okay here it is I see the end dot PRG let's run it and here we go we are asked to enter current and the new uh, device number so the current number is number eight and the new one will be number nine so we press return now do, do we want to make this permanent yes of course please and do we want to reset our device yes okay and now i can load a file browser once more and this time we are on device number nine really nice now let's run it now i'm go i'm going to uh, power on a floppy drive as well okay okay uh let's load another a little tool called um disk copy 64 now this little program uh, enable us to copy disks between copy files and entire disk from one device to the other and this is uh, this is where we are going to show you that there are two devices exist on this um, serial bus and one has number eight one is number nine so just one moment please we are loading and here we go so the device number eight is our floppy drive here and device number nine is of course our sd to ic device so we can switch between them copy files and everything that we want to do and if i uh, use the basic to load uh, files directory from a floppy drive and uh, let's list that we have our list of files on floppy drive let's do the same on our sd to ic device Here we go. So as you can see, we have two devices connected together. So this is it for today. I really do hope that someone will find this little basic program useful. So I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. And if you do like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe. And until the next time, goodbye. Or you can stay here and enjoy these sailing boats on the waves. Goodbye.